Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel. So I am going to talk about the very first openly gay character in TV history, which no one talks about, which they should. I know it's a really old show, but it, it, the first couple seasons was hilarious, and this character was amazing. And you, and I just how could no one talk about even if the show itself you don't like fine talk about this character because first off he's an awesome character second off he made history and nobody talks about him the and that would be jody from the tv show soap it was made back in the 70s four seasons the first two solid second two third one was meh i mean i don't like it but i don't hate it I don't think fourth one I couldn't stand. It was it just it went off the rails. First two seasons were hilarious and awesome and funny and I love them. <laughs> Jody, we are gonna talk about Jody and I love Jody. He's not my favorite character, but he, I um I'd say he's pretty high up there for my favorites. My favorite would be Corinne Benson probably second just because he's hilarious. Chuck and Bob's up there too. It that's only because it isn't even because I love Chuck and Bob, but I love when Bob gets on everyone else's nerves and then they do something to him. Bob's a jet dummy. Chuck's a good quest. And I I did a video on here not that long ago. It was like top six times everyone had enough of Bob and so and like when Jody stuck him in the refrigerator and hit him from Chuck and Chuck kinda of went a little bit insane without Bob. And then Benson throwing him out the window because he had enough of Bob's crap. <laughs> it's hilarious, and that's why they're high up there. But Jody's high up there too because I love him, and he's also the first openly gay character in TV history. You can even look it up. Look up who is, who was the first openly gay TV character. Okay, I looked it up. It is true. And they talk about, and when you look it up, they'll, they'll uh, Jody will come up. He's played by Billy Crystal. You might know the actor. Um, he was he he, he plays Sully. I think it's no, not Sully. Mikey, right? He plays one of them on um I want to say Mikey Monsters Inc. So you might know him. But in the seventies, he played um uh jody on soap and he was hilarious and he made history and nobody talks about him so enough with that rant i'm going to talk about him and give him some recognition that he clearly deserves so if you if you don't even care about an old 70s comedy show okay but at least watch soap for the first active gay representation because trust me it, it, he's earned it uh jody's awesome at the beginning of the show, he's, um, so first let me tell you what Soap is about since a lot of you probably don't, has never even heard of it. Soap is about, um, yeah, that was like way before I was born. Heck, that was when my mom was a little kid, when it was on the air, like really little kid. So, but I, I found the first two seasons hilarious, so I like them. But, um, uh. Jody, but so okay, I keep getting off track. So soap is about these two families, okay? One family is rich and lives in the, the whole rich life, and um, which consists of Jessica and Chester, who are the mom and dad, the married couple. Then they have three kids, uh, Kryn, Eunice, and um, Billy, uh, and. Uh, then there's Benson, who is their butler, and um, then you have the family that's really poor, Mary, Mary and Bert, and then Mary's sons, because Mary and Bert, I don't think have been married that long at this point, um, but Mary, uh, Mar they have Mary's sons, um, Jody, obviously, and then Danny, and um, and then uh, Bert, you soon meet Bert's, Bert's sons because they come and visit him. Uh, Bert's older son, uh, Peter, who isn't actually on that long because, spoiler, so move back a little bit if you don't want to know, spoiler, in case you are thinking about watching this. 
but uh, Peter gets murdered, and then a big portion of the first season is trying to figure out who did it, and yeah, um, but anyways, uh, and then shortly after that, you meet Chuck and Bob. Chuck is his son, and Bob is his dummy, who he cannot be apart from because he has issues, <laughs> but Bob is hilarious, so, um, but anyways, uh, these two families do not get along, especially the dads. Chester and Bert cannot stand each other at all. The only thing keeping these two families in, in each other's lives, the only reason why these two families even know each other to begin with, is because Jessica and Mary are sisters, and they're really close. They care about each other, and they're always there for each other. They're always helping each other, and yes. Um... So that's the only reason why these two families are even in each other's lives. Because they do not get along. They do have their moments, besides just Jessica and Mary moments, because they are always getting along. But the other um, people have their moments. Like, there was this scene between Eunice and Jody where they actually had a conversation and found out about each other's biggest secrets. And then later on, when Jody was in the hospital, him, Kren, Eunice, and Benson all had a moment. And it was really sweet. Um, but yeah, so, uh, Jody, you find out really soon from the TV show that he, like, in the first episode, he, he, it is mentioned that he's a homosexual. He's mentioned it a few times. He actually mentioned it several times. I think since he was the first only gay character, they had to kind of let the audience know that he's gay and... They were trying to let everyone know that they had that representation for the first time. So they do kind of um, mention this several times at the beginning. But um, he had this boyfriend, uh, Dennis, and the two of them were in a secret relation because he's this big football star and no one could know he was gay. He even had to pretend to date this girl for publicity and stuff. But it was Jody he wanted to be with. And um, most people in his life were pretty in denial about him being gay at first. I mean, you have to think about the time, so. But he never hid it, that's one thing I love. They didn't give him some coming out story about, hey, you know what, I'm gay. He was always aware of it. He, it was just about, uh, about people around him, his family finally accepting it. Um, Bert, had, Bert did not get along with Mary's sons at all. Danny for a whole different reason, but with, see, the problem that was annoying me with Bert, don't get me wrong, I like Bert. Well, I like him until he became a whole douche in season, I want to say, three or four? Maybe the end of season three, beginning of season four. Anyways, he becomes a whole douche. Um, but uh, he was trying with Danny. He didn't want to try with Jody because Jody freaked him out because he was homosexual. And he, he, I'm pretty sure he was a little homophobic, to be honest. So there is a little bit of that to warn you. Um, but at the same time, you have to think about when the times are. This is the first openly gay character. Of course, it's going to be some homo homophobia. Like, I don't think you can have the you can't have the first openly gay character without homophobia. You have to kind of cross those boundaries to let the audience know, hey, you know what? This this is a new time. This is a new era, and it's okay now to be gay. You shouldn't have to hide it. And that's kind of what I at least that's my theory. That's kind of what they were trying to say with that whole storyline. Uh, Bert eventually does accept Jody. It doesn't help that he was did have relations with a woman at one time, but to be, but I'll get to that eventually. Um, anyways, uh, uh, Mary always knew, even if she wasn't exactly. It's not that she was against it because she loved her son despite her. She loved her son, son, even though he was gay and. It was just, it took her some time to get used to it and to accept that as a part of his life and hers. Um, but she, uh, they did have this nice talk when she walked in on Jody getting dressed in um, one of her dresses and a wig. And um, th I think this when, yeah, that was when she he had also told her he was going to have a sex change operation. He's not really, I, I, I never really saw him as transgender. Even, even though he was going to have a sex change operation, but the only reason why he was going to do it was for Dennis, because he wanted to be with Dennis, and he was willing to change his body to do so, because Dennis had to, was going to marry this girl because 
uh, he, ha he felt like he had to. He ended up not uh, going through with it because him and Dennis break up because he ends up going through with the wedding and whatever. Um, but um, he and he does, there is a suicide attempt because he was just really heartbroken of um, Dennis breaking things off with him. And even though he was willing to change for him and literally become literally change everything about him for him and he breaks things off for a girl he could never possibly be happy with because he was gay he wasn't bisexual he was gay but he felt like he had no other choice but to marry her because for his image as a big football star and stuff um but anyways back to his family um he ends up talking to his mom about um reminiscing about when they, him and Danny were younger and she had got them razors for the first time. He was like, remember how Danny immediately started trying to shave his face? He was like, I shaved my legs. And she, she was like, oh, man. And yeah, but he, he, and one thing I love about him is that despite everyone's reactions about him being uh, gay, and despite everything, he never tried to change. Even, he did have relations with a woman later on, but I'll get to that, and that, that was a little bit more on the complicated side. But anyways, um, he never actually tried to change for Well, he tried to change. That's not true. He did try to sex, do the whole sex change operation for Dennis, but um, he never tried to change his sexuality. He was into guys, and that was the end of it. Um, even if Bert had a lot of issues with it. Later on, they do get pretty close. Um, so he gets over Danny's homosexuality. But um, it doesn't really show his him with um, the Tates. The Tates are the rich people, the Campbells are the poor family. Um, he doesn't really, it doesn't really, I don't think there's really any conversation he has with any of the um, Tates about his homosexuality, except for once early on with Jessica. Jessica was over at Mary's house. They were having dinner, breakfast, or just talking, I don't know what. But um, he, Jessica makes a comment about th that there weren't any homosexual homosexuals in her time, and he was she was like, um, there there were a whole uh, he was like homosexuals that have been around for a long time, whether or not you know it was it, they were really out there like a lot of them hid in closets for the longest time because it wasn't exactly okay to be gay at that point at that point, um, and uh. So yeah, there's that. Um, him, at the beginning, Danny was in so much denial of him being gay that every time he made comments about sex change operations, about being a homosexual, he always laughed and, be, and was like, uh, uh, my brother, the jokester, he will do anything just to get a good laugh. And, um, and, uh, he gets mad whenever someone calls him a fruit, even though l later on he does call Jody a fruit once or twice, but that was more in joking terms, you know, for like brotherly uh, love and stuff. He he never said it as an insult because he Jody has had heard it as an insult. Bert has said it to him several times in, in, in the beginning of the show before, you know, he was able to accept Bert, uh, Jody as gay. Um, and Bob said it to him once and then Bert and then Danny got mad at him. At the dummy. Like I said, there's some hilarious th moments with Bob. But anyways, this is about Jody. He, he, uh, but th they had this talk once at some point, and, um, Jody, and Jody finally sat Danny down and was like, I'm gay. And he was like, if you can't accept me because I'm gay, then you you never really, if you don't love me now because I'm gay, then you never really love me at all. And Dan was like, uh, no, it's not that. It's just I was always afraid that if I heard it, that if I believed it, that it would mean that I, that I would start looking at you differently. And Jody was like, well, do you? And um, uh, Danny looked up at her, him and he smiled. He was like, uh, no, no. And they had a nice moment there because Danny finally accepted that he's a fruit because he called him a fruit for as a joke. But he finally accepted that he was gay, which was really sweet. And um, so yeah, but he didn't go through with the sex change operation. Um, and that, that, so that was the whole storyline of everyone finally accepting him. 
Um, by season two, I'm pretty sure everyone had accepted him. Um, but he ends up meeting Carol. Here comes the relations with the woman. And um, he... So she... she There's this huge trial part of the spoiler. I told you to fast forward through earlier if you didn't want the spoiler. But um, she was, um, I think, looking at all the uh, witnesses, or not witnesses, because they weren't really witnesses, but like testimonies, I guess. I don't know. But, um, and then when she said jo Jody, when she found Jody, she's like, you're the uh, suicidal homosexual? Because he did try to kill himself once. And I guess that was on record. I don't know. But um, he was like, yeah. She's like, I, but you're really cute. And so after that, she kept, pressuring her at him and trying to get him to go out with her and he agreed to get, go out with her but as friends because he did you know he he thought she was nice but she was wrong because she was a manipulative little jerk which i'll get into in a minute anyway she so she um and then she every time she didn't get what he, she wanted she agreed she um basically forced him to agree to go on this whole um, uh, we can get away with him. And, and she said, as friends, then when they get there, it was one room, not two, one bed, not two beds. And, um, he, and, uh, so they laid in the bed together and he, she kept trying to make a move on him. And he kept, um, being like, no, you, 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 you're doing this and you're doing that. And then she started fake crying. And next thing you know, they do end up sleeping together, but she, he didn't, like it because he's gay he's not into women which is something carol could not get through her thick skull he was gay and she could not change that out of him which she tried to um she swore that if the two of them did something that she, he she could change his mind she said the whole thing about um that thing a lot of gays and lesbians hear about um uh how how do you um know you don't like it if you've never done it with a woman and she was like i don't have he was like i don't have to know and stuff and i know a lot of this stuff is ta kind of tackling with serious issues with homophobia people not being able to accept him uh the depression or not depression he didn't really have depression but the attempted suicide um the uh someone trying to change him someone thinking that he has to at least try to be with a woman before he can determine if it's guys he's like he likes because you know i've never been with a man and i know that i want to be with a woman but not sexually either because i'm asexual as well so you know there's all that but uh so it does tackle serious issues like that um but i feel like it was important for them to tackle stuff like that since he was the first openly gay um, character on TV. Uh, they had to tackle the issues that people would see in real life if they did start coming out more. And, um, but Jody never st tried to be anyone he, he wasn't. He liked guys, and even though he did have a relation with um carol he was evidence that he liked guys and she eventually realized that she wasn't going to change that but i'll get to that in a minute um she does uh end up uh, saying that she they end up agreeing to live together um as friends because he ends up getting back together with dennis who had divorced his wife or I don't remember if they even went through with the wedding or if they did and he just divorced her. I don't remember. But he realized that a marriage with a woman couldn't work because he was gay and he wasn't happy and or fulfilled in that marriage. Um, and so uh, the two of them get back together. Carol did, and Dennis do not like each other because Carol still wants to be with Jody, even though Jody is in love with Dennis. And Dennis doesn't like Carol because he knows that Carol's trying to get it between them. So there's all that drama. This whole that's probably one that that's probably the first gay related love triangle in history as well. Well, it would be the first since he's the first gay character. But um anyways, uh so 
um, Carol ends up uh, coming clean to Jody about being pregnant with his um, child because he was the only person she's done anything with in a while. And um, so that causes complications. She, he ends up ending things with Dennis thinking he had to do the right thing and marry her even though he knew he wouldn't be fulfilled in a marriage with a woman. But she agreed. Um, so she finally got everything she wanted. And what does she do? She leaves him at the altar because... Oh, I hated Carol. I still do. Like, seriously, she was manipulative. She basically tricked him into sleeping with her, into going out with her on a date, into going out with her on a weekend getaway, to sleeping with her, to marrying her all, to leave her, leave him? What the actual heck, woman? But, um, you never see Dennis again because Jody and Dennis did not leave on good terms at that point. Um, because Dennis was like, I was go I'm going to make your life miserable, miserable if you continue going um, through the, with this marriage with her and stuff. And then he punches him. So, Jody punches Dennis. So, yeah, they didn't end on good terms. So, they do not get back together. That was last you saw Dennis. Um, but uh, Jody does eventually go to ten Tennessee. That's, that's where she lived. In. No, Texas. She lived in Texas. Her mom lived in Texas. So, she, so he went to Texas to see his mom or her mom and hope hope that she was there and um she made it uh the mom made a comment about there's not being any homos in uh texas and he was like there's homos everywhere but okay whatever you say and then um carol says she doesn't want him in the baby's life and but then later um so you think that's the end of that but i'll get more into that storyline because it does re-pick up it later on but it, while while all that all that's going on, he meets Alice, who is a lesbian, and um, she he's never met a lesbian. He's only met um, gay guys like Dennis, and I'm pretty sure she's never met uh, an actual gay person. He's only he's only uh, she's only met uh, lesbians like her ex, um, but she was suicidal at that point, so he decides to let her move in since he has that extra room anyways with Carol, you know, being gone in Texas and stuff. And there's that. And then um the and then Carol's mom comes by one day and is like here um uh, with um the baby cuz the baby was born at this point and uh it was a girl, I forgot what they named her now. But um she says how um uh Carol wanted you to meet her and this and that turns out that was a lie. She um, ditched the baby with her mom and rode off with some biker. And um, so, she, so Carol's mom came to um, see if think to see if she thought Jody would be a good dad. But she had one issue. She was like the baby living with one homo. She was okay with, but she wasn't okay with Alice. And she said she has nothing against with her being a lesbian. She just doesn't want her grandchild being raised by two homos. Um, so Alice ends up moving out because she said she's um what she doesn't want to make she doesn't want Jody not to be able to see his daughter. So she ends up leaving, and um which was really sad because Alice was his best friend and Jody was Alice's because before Jody Alice you know didn't want to live anymore because of whatever happened with her ex. I forgot what she said, but she said she was going to decide. She decided she was going to travel the world and someday they, they might see each other again. So, um, she left, and I don't remember season three and four very well. That was all in the first two seasons. Jody has had some, uh, storyline in the first two seasons. Um, they all had. I think Billy was the only one that really didn't have a storyline until season three. Um, but anyways, uh, so, so, uh, Bill, so, Billy, um, so Jody, uh, I don't really remember if Jody ever gets a boyfriend in season three or four because I don't remember seasons three or four at all, really. I think I remember a tiny bit from season three, but nothing from season four except for the last five minutes, and that's only because it left off at a cliffhanger because the show got canceled abruptly because they thought they were gonna make a season five, but they didn't get picked up for another season, so it left off with three different cliffhangers. And I'm still mad about that. Even though I didn't like this before, I still wanted to find out what happened. Um, uh, but yeah, so I don't really remember what happened to Jody's character after season three and four. 
but um, but I loved his character. You know, he was definitely one of my favorites of of uh, soap, and um, I loved the his storylines in the first two seasons since I don't remember the ones in the other two seasons but I just felt like his storylines were so were done really well in the first two seasons I mean yeah they did tackle some serious issues like there was some homophobia and you know with um his family having a hard time accepting it, especially Bert um but they weren't really much of a family at that point I mean yeah he was the, his stepdad, but they Bert didn't really get along with Danny or uh, Jody at that point. But um, uh, but yeah, <laughs> and um, uh, they dealt with you know a woman thinking that she could change him and tricking him into relations with him, convinces making trying to make him believe that he can't know he's gay unless he's tried it with a woman um but yeah so there were some serious issues tackled but like i said i'm pretty i think they needed to since this was the first openly gay character in tv history they needed to tackle some serious issues that people will have if they wanted to do accurate representation i feel like it was necessary especially since People, especially back then, would have heard stuff like that. Yeah, we still hear stuff like that now, but gay character, gay, gay characters, gay people are so out there now that you don't hear it as often. And but back then you did. And for accurate for representation, it was kind of necessary. At least those are my views on it. But Jody is just was an amazing character. He was hilarious. He was sweet. He was um, just amazing and. I love that he was the first openly gay character because he did justice to the representation and to gays everywhere. So if you need new gay representation or you want to see the very first gay representation ever, then please go watch Soap because it will be worth it. I mean, Jody's just an amazing character. I did like his relationship with Dennis. Um, up until you know he said he was gonna make um Jody's life terrible if he went through with Mary and Carol because that was kind of a jerk move but they did have a nice relationship I like the relationship more after they got back together because Dennis was more willing to come out of the closet for him and was he said he he was at one point he even said that he was willing to tell the entire world what it meant being with uh Jody which was really sweet but then he had to ruin everything. But I don't remember if he ever gets another love interest, uh, honestly. But I do hope that he found somebody and was happy because he more than deserves it. He's such a sweet guy. And yeah, so I just wanted to uh, talk about Jody for almost half an hour. So that's all for this video. Please like and subscribe and comment uh, your views on Jody and also if you've ever seen it. If not, please do because it is worth it because Jody needs more recognition for being the first openly gay character in TV history. So that is all and I'll talk to you guys later.